What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be talking about five huge mistakes that I made as a beginner dropshipper. Now I know some of these mistakes have cost me well into the six figures so be sure to stick around so that you don't make the same mistakes. Let's get into the video. Alright, so I started dropshipping at 15 years old. Needless to say, I made a ton of mistakes. One of the biggest ones, just being uninformed when I was going into it. I saw a Ty Lopez ad talking about dropshipping and I was like, wow, that seems like something I want to do. So I probably watched a total of like 10 YouTube videos and decided that I was going to start. I literally had no idea how to market my products. I was just focusing on building my store. And then once my store is built, I kind of just expected the sales to start rolling in. When they didn't, I spent weeks trying to get organic traffic from Instagram. When that didn't work, I switched to Facebook ads and spent weeks and hundreds of dollars testing Facebook ads. When that didn't work, I switched to Instagram influencers and spent weeks and my remaining $80 on like two influencer ads and I didn't end up getting a single sale from any of the advertising channels that I tried. I basically ran through my entire $300 budget because I didn't learn enough about how to market. I thought marketing was just a small part of your business when in reality marketing is about 90% of a dropshipping business. Another one of my huge mistakes when I was starting out is that I didn't allocate my time well. I'd be learning about like email marketing or selling on Pinterest when I hadn't made a single sale yet. I had shiny object syndrome and I thought that everything that the YouTubers did would work for me. Another one of my big regrets is that I didn't remove my time from the business earlier. I spent too much time fulfilling orders and answering emails when I could have been focusing on growing my business. Once you hit five figures a month, I would immediately start outsourcing. This is going to sound weird, but the thing that cost me the most money was being afraid to lose money. This has cost me well into the six figures and the sooner that you understand this concept, the sooner that you start making real money. You cannot be afraid to lose money. Test a product extensively before you give up. I tested AirPods, Rose Bears, 100 language necklaces, all these seven to eight figure products before they blew up and I barely made any money. The reason being is I didn't test enough. You can't just spend $50 on ads and then say the product doesn't work. You have to expect to lose hundreds before you make thousands. The final huge mistake that I made dropshipping is for the longest time I just looked at it as a side hustle or a hobby and when I finally made it my job and my number one priority, it blew up. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you get to learn from my mistakes because I wish that I could have. Be sure to hit that big red subscribe button on your way out and I'll see you in the next one.